Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Pamela Anderson inspired look. I am a little bit late on the trend, however, I still wanted to do it anyway. I was waiting for my wig to arrive and honestly, as quick as trends come in, they just fly back out again. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to do this kind of like 90s inspired look. I'm just going to clip back my hair with my new little teddy bear clips. How cute are these? Where's the other one? So cute. So I actually sell these on my website. I'll link them down below and they are special makeup clips. So they are non-dent ones. So they don't leave marks in your hair. And I just think they're absolutely adorable. These are my favourite ones. Uh, usually I have like these shaped ones, which I also sell on my site. But this is my first time having like a completely different shape and I'm loving it. Ba -da -bam -bam. I love nude. My skin with some moisturiser. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Pureness Moisturiser. This is just like a light daytime, daytime moisturiser. And then I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Ageless Eye Cream. Most important thing I'd say for this look is going to be our eyebrows. So I'm going to cover mine um, using the Prit Stick like the original one. I know loads of people use that Elmer's glue, but like I've used it a couple times and I've just never, it's just never worked for me, you know? I'm also gonna be using my By E brow comb. This is a metal comb on this side and then it's got a flat spatula on this side. So it is perfect um, for gluing down brows. Just gonna run the Prit stick backwards through my brows first to make sure that the glue is covering the entire hair. And then I'm just going to push the glue back through in the direction of hair growth and then getting my comb, I'm trying to do this in the monitor, it's really hard, combing through the hairs to flatten them out and then using this side, I'm flattening over. the hairs and then there we go it's as simple as that I don't really have to do that much to my brows because I do have like quite fine hair um the more eyebrows you have the harder they are to cover just set my brows with powder and I'm going to go over with a tiny bit of like a peachy shade this is just going to help to color correct what's underneath taking some translucent powder and a little puffy puff thing and making sure that is fully set now you really want to apply a large amount of powder to this because you really don't want this product to move at all otherwise it's just going to smudge into your foundation and it's just it's not going to do you any help i'm just using the kevin aquan concealer this is rumored to be the one kim kardashian uses and it is what it's actually called the sensual skin enhancer but it's basically a really heavy concealer and i'm just pasting this over my brows it's probably like a, about a shade lighter than my skin because we do want to create like more of a brightening effect just to ha help hide the darkness i just like to let them sit and just dry a little bit before i go ahead and blend them out crazy right now so what you want to do is you just want to blend the edges very gently but you don't want to remove too much product from the actual like brow area. I'm going to apply a little bit of eye primer. This is just the Coastal Sense one. It's quite transparent. I'm just going to apply that to my finger and I'm applying this to like the upper part of my lid mainly gonna be using the Vive eyeshadow palette today this is the first one like the brown one so I'm gonna start off by applying the shade buff I'm just gonna buff that into my crease just really have to work it in to make sure that it goes over that brow conceal properly I'm gonna take the Vive eye wand in the shade Raven it's basically just like a black crayon pencil i'm just going to fill in my entire eye and then blending them in 
Make sure to pull the shadow out as well to create more of a winged shape. I am going to be going over the top of this with eyeshadow so you don't need to worry about getting a perfect blend you just want to make sure that the edge has been softened. Taking some black eyeshadow and blending that black into our brown. Okay. Swapping back to our big fluffy brush I'm now going to take a dark brown so it's a colour that is in between these and just circle that over and just circle that in between the two colours to help them blend. I'm going to get my finger and a wet wipe and I'm just going to draw like a harsh line. So I'm going from my lower lash line upwards, the same direction that you would usually do your winging. Make sure as well to just give a little pat underneath your eye and remove any like bits of fallout. Now time for the eyebrows. So much pressure to do this. The misguided precision eyebrow pencil. So it's like, do you know, like one of those style ones. Essentially, she just has like a kind of rainbow shape rather than like a regular shaped brow. So let's just, <laughs> let's just do this. I'm just going to try and do this quite lightly. She's using a little bit of concealer to erase any shape that is not quite right. I feel like this one's gone right, but this one's a little bit too low. When I've got a rough shape, I'm going to go over with the angle brush and some pomade. This is the Benefit Brow Pomade. <laughs> just because it's going to... You just need something stronger to make sure that it goes over the concealer. I mean, I don't know how she got these even. It's like really, really tricky. I just concealed around the edges with the Vive Lip and Line brush. It's got this great shape that was honestly just perfect for neatening up the edges. That look a little bit more like Chucky's Bride, but you know, we go with the flow. They do, they do have the same makeup to be honest. I'm applying a black pencil liner. So for foundation, I'm going to go a little bit darker with my foundation because I've got no fake tan on at the moment, um, but she's definitely more tan than me. So where is my foundation? Yeah, I'm going to use the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. This is in the shade Golden Beige. This is the shade that I usually use because I usually wear fake tan. So it is like my normal foundation. You guys watching this video because you watched Tam, Tam and Tommy. <laughs> Pam and Tommy. I feel like it's like a Pam Pam situation. Yeah, on Disney Plus, I watched it, absolutely loved it. I was obsessed with the makeup on it. Let me tell you what, those prosthetic tits, 10 out of 10. Honestly, I was looking for seams. I was looking to figure out how they had attached them and I just couldn't find the answer. They showed like loads of scenes of her like boobs from the side and it was seamless. It was absolutely incredible. Hats off to the hair and makeup team there. Use that same Kevin Aquant concealer to highlight underneath my eyes. It's so thick um, that you don't really need to conceal, you can just go straight ahead and highlight. So I'm just gonna highlight my nose to try and make it a little bit more like hers. I mean, she's got a very tricky nose shape to replicate, so I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna do it, but I think this is where I'm starting. I think that's it, I actually think, I actually think that's probably it. For contour, I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan Contour Book. I'm so bougie, aren't I? <laughs> Kevin Kwan. Such a fancy name. So let's use a nice precise brush. Mm. Okay. I'm actually going to use a really small eyeshadow smudger brush. Take the sculpting light shade and go down the sides of the highlight just to really intensify the shape of the nose. Contour the rest of my face as usual, just my cheekbones, forehead and jaw. 
Using the NARS Laguna bronzer, I'm just warming up the nose contour a little bit. Now I'm going to set my entire face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So applying a lot of powder, I like to spray over my face with a little bit of like hydrating mist. This one is from Bad Habit and it's the Chill Out Mist. Mercier highlighter, this is the rose gold one. You can take a small eyeshadow brush and just use this to really highlight the tip of the nose in a corner of the eye, uh, especially the brow bone here underneath underneath the brow that was like a big 90s trend. The blusher I'm using the Healthy Peach by Glow Wish. Then a little bit of highlight. Going underneath my eye with a little bit of brown just to smudge out the black liner. For lashes, I'm going to use the TL2. These are really big, fluffy lashes, and these are from Tatty Lashes. And I'm going to apply them with my tweezer. As you can see, these tweezers are long, so you have all of that space to grip the lash rather than just like a tiny bit on like a regular tweez tweezer. So it just means you have much more control when you're applying it. For that 90s lip, I'm going to go in with the Morphe X Ashley Strong Lip Liner. This is like a cool brown shade. The lipstick I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Butterscotch Satin Lipstick. Topping that with the Morphe Frosé Lipstick. For this look, I do actually have a wig, so we're going to put it on. I'll be right back to show you the final result. Here we go. Here is the finished look with the hair. I just put on a leather jacket. Not that you can tell because I've got this black chair behind me. I actually really like this lip. <laughs> it is quite similar to what I usually go for, but I don't usually go for the gloss. I think that really takes it over the top. My hair... This week was a bit of a struggle, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to take photos like this and then I'm also going to do some just with my actual hair because I do quite like the makeup. That's all for today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back next Friday with another tutorial and every Tuesday with my weekly vlog. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Bye. I'm going to use a... I'm actually going to use a really short... Oh, I'm going to use a really small eyebrow smudger. No. I'm gonna use a really small eyebrow smudger. No, I'm not. I'm not.